Today we are talking about movement and why it is so important for toddlers' physical and mental development. Joining us today on the Anne Mum Pedia Pro 3 Coffee Group are two experts in this field, Christina Patching and Emma Hurrell. Good morning, ladies. Good morning. Great to have you here. Kids, Emma, constantly on the move. Why is movement so important? Oh, Mike, movement is so important. Um, you know, not, does, not only does it um, help children to become physically strong and healthy, but it also affects their overall development. So when we engage children in a variety of different physical activities, we provide them with the opportunities to develop their motor skills, explore their bodies, develop communication skills, thinking skills, problem solving skills. Um, it, it allows them to become competent, both physically and emotionally, which then builds their self-confidence. So as a parent, you've got to keep encouraging it, haven't you? Oh, absolutely. And, you know, movement also involves brain integration, which, um, which is a process in which both sides of the brain work together, and it's, it's essential for learning and development to take place. OK, Christina, are kids moving enough these days? Because I see kids and they're always on the go, so are they moving enough? Kids are enough? definitely moving quite naturally. Um, you know, studies do show, you know, in the past 25 years, the average movement of a three-year-old has reduced significantly. Um, you know, and that's obviously... We've got concerns about health, fitness, mental well-being, learning development. But, you know, I work in a lot of schools around Auckland and I've seen great initiatives to combat that. You know, there's great motor programmes happening, there's great... Um, you know, learning is so a part of, so movement is so a part of learning. Right. So, um, yeah, I think definitely, you know, kids are, obviously the use of technology, you know, kids are spending more time on tablets and electronics. As an OT, um, which is occupational therapist for short, um, you know, you I see a lot of children with poor grip strength because they're actually nowadays doing more of this than outside and playing. So, um, yes, kids are definitely moving, but technology is playing a huge part of that. So we just kind of need to make sure that our kids are moving daily, I guess, yeah. Because I guess nowadays for adults, we're getting a little bit lazier. So we need to keep encouraging this. What can we do to keep that encouragement? Because some of us may set a bad example for our kids. Yeah, so yeah. let's change that. How do we fix that? Yeah, that's right. Yeah, well, well, Mike, I think a lot of um, parents feel that they have to go out and buy resources in order to provide their children with these, you know, wonderful mu movement opportunities at home, but your home is filled with resources. And I mean, you as a parent are a resource. So when you move, your children will move with you. When you jump up and down, your children will jump up and down. When you run around in the garden, your children will do the same. So I think one of the things we'd like to focus on today is um, some of the resources that are actually found within the home and some of the activities that we can do with them. Okay, and this is resources that just about everybody will have in their house. Absolutely. Okay, yeah. good, I like it. Yeah. Good. So um, the first resource we're going to be looking at is, is a pillow. And um, a pillow can be used as a punching bag, right. which most children absolutely love. <laughs> um, and they can do straight punches, or you could bring in crossing the midline and brain integration by asking them to punch opposite sides of the pillow. Um, pillows can be used for jumping activities, so you can lay a few pillows on the floor and the children can jump over them. Right. They can do normal jumps, they can do frog jumps, the children can jump on the pillows, which brings in your core stability and your balance, because, you know, the pillows are a bit wobbly. Yeah. Um, I mean, all, yeah, yeah, I mean, you can even take the pillow out of the pillowcase and you have a sack, which can be used for sack jumping or sack races. That is a great suggestion, and yeah, Christina, right. I do have this here. That's right. Can you explain what this, this is? bucket, yes. So buckets are awesome. Kids love buckets. Yeah. Me? My kids love hiding in buckets and, you know, doing things like that. I love that but, bucket. Yeah, on there. <laughs> um, so inside we have a sock roll. So, you know, if you don't have a ball at home, obviously a sock roll can be like into a ball. You can throw it up in the air, you can throw it to each other, you can even add a few more and juggle. Um, this, the bucket, the bucket can be used as, you know, for target practice. You can put it at the length and develop the eye-hand coordination. You can also, you don't need to go and buy a fancy basketball hoop, especially for our young ones. You can just hold it up in the air and obviously you're spending some bonding time with your child as well. Um, you can also put it on the floor on its side and you can use it as a goal. And you can Brilliant. get the child to kick the, the sock roll into the bucket. So, and these are only a few examples no, And they are well. great examples yeah, as well, because yeah. everybody has a bucket at home, everyone has a pillow. Yeah, yeah absolutely. OK, one of the um, viewers, ladies, have asked about swimming. Uh, you know, is that important for brain development as well, getting your kids to move? That's a great question, and the answer is 100% yes, because right. swimming involves a lot of brain integration. I mean, if we look at an example of a style of swimming, swimming let's say freestyle. Freestyle actually involves two types of brain integrated movements. Mm -hmm. The first one is cross lateral, so that means that's when both sides work um, and often alternate. Okay, and the second movement is your mismatch movement, and that's when different parts of the body carry out different movements. So you've got your arms carrying out your circular motion, and you've got your feet kicking. Mm -hmm. 
So I mean, just by looking at that example alone, you can you can have an idea of the kind of you know all the brain integration that's involved, and it's much the same for many of the other styles of swimming. Yeah. Well, you right. two you two have been absolutely brilliant today. Thanks for all those suggestions, and I uh, look forward to seeing you again. Awesome. Thanks so right. much. Thank you. Okay, movement. That's what we need to do. Great advice. Thank you so much for joining us on the Coffee Group. And the Coffee Group is brought to you by Ann Mum Pedia Pro Three, the only toddler milk with no added sugars. We want you to share your worries on our Facebook page. Please give us suggestions for future discussions and you can go in the draw to win an e-book. Now you can record your own voice reading this story. Congratulations to last week's winner, Jen Wig. We'll include your idea of civil rivalry in the upcoming coffee group. Thank you very much.